Hi guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Budget Mini Clubman. In this episode I want to try and tackle the rust on the toe board of the car. So that's the section basically where your feet would sit under the pedals. Um, it joins to a lip on top of the bulkhead, or the middle section of the bulkhead if you like, and then down onto the floor pans. Now the floor pans are going, so I'm not too bothered by those, but I want to try and save the toe board because it's a horrible job to do. And the aim of this game is to save money and if we can repair instead of replace, that is what we're doing. Right, so I've gone with some gel, ha made by Hammer Eye, but it's a gel version. I don't particularly rate it yet, but I'm not one to just go, right, that's rubbish and throw it away. Um, I paid for it, so I'm gonna use it. It does work, it just takes a little bit longer. So we're gonna go with that. Um, in the int introduction of this whole car, if you watch that first one, there's a little section that I'm gonna repair. Um, I'm also gonna try and clear rust or uh, clear all the rust, Dobbies. Gonna clear all the rust out um, around that because I mean I'm cutting that a little bit out, but along that seam needs to be clean anyway, so the bits that I'm gonna keep. So I'll flip you round and I'll show you where I'm at. Right, so like I mentioned in this episode, I'm gonna start clearing back the bulkhead or the toe board is what the panel up to there is called, the joins there, it's up to there. We know from if you watch the first instruction to this car, there's a little hole there, which I'm going to re repair from the other side, in the ins inside the engine bay basically, because that's I can then butt weld onto that. But the rest of it looks really good. I've just been over it. The previous owner started to tidy it up there, um, and it looks pretty good. Obviously the floor pans are going at the front, so only up to that lip, all the way along there. So all this is going, so we haven't got to worry about that. I thought I'd get some cure rust on this and then some extra primer and then the bulkhead is at least protected from the elements. So I've just been over the whirly wheel or wire wheel and clean back any surface rust that I could find and try and get into it. But let's try and get some cure rust in there, see how it does. Right, I'll bring you guys back in. I've cure rusted or used a hammerite rust remover. Now, I've never really used this stuff. I've had it on the shelf, um, and I, I never really rated it, to be honest, but I thought I'd give it another chance. I read some re more reviews on it. It's basically that, it's a gel. I quite like the way you can get it everywhere, in, in all the seams and stuff, but, yeah, I'm not over enamored with it at the moment, so we'll see how it goes. So I don't want to waste products, so. It seems, you can see it working, it's just I like the other stuff more, you can physically, you physically see it happening really quite quickly, so you can see what happens there. I've done a little bit up there, you can't really see it, it's really crappy light there, so I do apologise. But yeah, sort of gone round, mainly focusing on that toe board, so it says to repeat it a few times, so I'm going to do that. Once I've used this up, I can't see me buying it again, but it, I mean it does work, it just takes longer, so yeah, I'm going to go back to some stuff I know really. Hi guys, right, basically I left that rust gel overnight, it said on the back of the tin to leave it six to 12 hours. Um, basically apply it as, as much as you really can in all the seams, leave it. Um, I come back in the morning basically, I left it completely overnight and it's gone like, it went like a very, very dark green, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Um, on, the, on the tin it says to then sort of wash it off with water, um, maybe in a spray bottle or something like that. From doing it in the past, I've always just used a scotch pad. Um, I find that that scrubs it away completely off the surface and it obviously keys the surface ready for paint. So you clean two birds with one stone doing it that way. Um, I've now gone back with it, I'm really shocked with it. All the rust seems to have gone from where I can see anyway. Um, the bulkhead is pretty much in bare metal apart from little lumps and bumps in the bulkhead, obviously where there's still some black paint. Uh, but all the surface rust, if you had remembered the beginning, is completely gone. Um, going to do that repair from the engine bay side, but for now I am going to coat the whole thing with some zinc primer just to stop it from getting any worse in the elements. So I'm really shocked with that. I'll spin you around and show you. Um, basically, obviously you're probably sitting there going, whoa, putting water all down my bulkhead and stuff like that. That does go against the grain. It's not a nice feeling. Um, but basically what I've done is get a heat gun out and I've just dried off the, the surface completely. Uh, right in the seams, you can see the water coming out of it, and, and then I've just left it for a few hours to sort of air dry. So I'll spin you around now and I'll show you, and um, then I'm gonna get some zinc primer on it. So you can see the bulkhead now 
is all bare metal. All the bits you did see where the bare metal is now, that's all pitted and horrible. Obviously you can see that's all black paint. Um, and then we have the repair at the top. The hole's there, but I'm gonna take that out to about there and then weld it from the engine bay side over. But really chuffed at that. I'm gonna get some zinc primer on it, obviously. We're not really worrying about the floors because they're getting cut out. But really chuffed with that. Flitch panels are in really good shape. There's that repair there, which I might address. I don't know how much it bugs me. It's really, really solid. It's done quite well, to be fair. It's just not been ground back. So I might just grind it back and finish it. That side, I've never seen an car this age with a mint flitch panel. It's absolutely solid. So let's get some primer on this. Right, so that was just a quick video, basically to demonstrate the rust remedy, the uh, Hammerite gel, and to show you that surface rust doesn't necessarily mean let's cut the panel out. Obviously, use your head. If the panel is very, very thin, very, very pitted and pinholed all the way over, cut it out. It's not worth it. It's your car, it's safe, gotta be safe. Cut it out. But that tow board there is well savable. I'm gonna do the repair from the other side, like I've already mentioned, but that there, I'm chuffed at that. Nice shiny bit on the car now. Um, obviously I want the tow board to be right and this is why I've sort of done that first because the point is having a rotten tow board and trying to weld a new floor pan to it. But now we know the tow board's good, we can weld the floor pans to it. This episode has been a very cheap one. So catch you soon guys and we'll crack on with the next job.